Trust Vital for your family's health. Before the break, I asked about the rumour around artificial sweeteners causing cancer. True or false? Well, artificial sweeteners are used in a wide variety of foods and drinks. Almost everyone in developed countries consumes them whether they know it or not. So, thankfully, studies on artificial sweeteners have found that they do not increase the risk of cancer. Isn't that good news? I think so. Epidemiologists who have studied the prevalence of cancer amongst the different population groups of the world have found that diet can impact up to 40% of all cancers. For example, there is now convincing scientific evidence that processed meats like ham and sausages and bacon and some burgers can increase the risk for bowel cancer disease. In fact, the World Cancer Research Fund has recommended that children should not be given processed meats at all. Andrea, if you were to give guidelines around a cancer preventative diet, what would those guidelines be? Definitely to reduce the intake of processed meats and even red meat in general. I think we should rely more on fish, chicken and definitely the vegetable proteins, lentils and beans. Yeah, absolutely. Well, in fact, vegetables um, and fruits also contain lots of fibre and antioxidants that are also cancer protective. What and about alcohol? Oh, yes. That's a no-no? Yeah, unfortunately alcohol and um, regular consumption also increases the risk for cancer, so one should try and avoid that. And they've also shown that even drinking just one tin of fizzy cool drink a day can increase the risk of certain types of cancer. Wow. So we have to look at what we can drink. Okay. Water, naturally, is the one we should drink. Always, yes. Yeah. And then also green tea, because it has such potent antioxidants with cancer-protective properties. You're right, and there's studies to actually back those statements. That's just not hearsay or kind of good mm -hmm. news. There really is science that says green tea has got anti-cancer properties. That's right. I mean, one epidemiological study showed um, women that consume green tea regularly um, has a lower incident or have lower incidence of um, bowel cancer. And another study showed that men that are at risk of prostate cancer, by consuming green tea regularly, they can also reduce their risk. But the study says that we should try and consume six cups of green tea per day. There's always a catch. I mean, I don't want prostate cancer, but do I want six cups of green tea a day? Now, um, the taste is an acquired one, and I'm not mm. sure you've acquired it. I haven't yet, but I'm sure you've got other ways of getting green tea in, don't you? Yes, I also haven't acquired the, the taste, but there is really a delicious um, alternative the vital fruit infusion green tea. So that contains a fruit extract to give it some aromatic flavours. Good, so almost so, a natural kind of sweetener, if yes. you like. Yes, oh. or not a sweetener, but it has that, that sweetie flavour, yeah. yes. Okay. So, um, well, in, in winter, obviously, green tea is lovely to drink then, but in summer, um, you can make a fruit punch. So it's very easy to make. You take one part fruit juice, two parts green tea, and add some fresh fruits, um, here we've got some berries that um, berries are high in antioxidants oh, right. and also mint. So would Brilliant. you like to taste some of this? I'd love to taste some. Looks great. Whoever audience actually has green tea on a regular basis. Okay, good. Wow, I'm impressed. Better than we are. Thanks, Andre. Is that green tea? Yes, but wow. it mixes with um, fruit juice. I could do that. And um, what you can also do is to make a concentrate in a pot like this or on the stove um, of a very strongly brewed green tea and chill it in a bottle in the fridge. So you can always make up a bit, bit of Just a add green some water tea. To yes. The, this I really could get into. That's not bad. You've got cereal that's been. Is that doused in green tea or sort of well, a Well, it's pre-soaked, soaked, yes. So um, before you go to bed, you soak your low GI muesli with some of the fruit infusion green tea. It's really delicious. And then you take a, a fresh Something apple. Okay. And apples, obviously, are also packed with antioxidants. That's right. So some grated apple and cinnamon over that is really a delicious way to start the day. I think we've got a small portion of apple there. I just need to you borrow need to, your spoon. You can use your fingers. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can use <laughs> Right. So that goes there, okay. and if you want, you can have a sprinkling of cinnamon over that as well. That looks great. Do you mind so, if I taste yes. this? Hey, to our audience, you're welcome to come try this afterwards, but uh, let me get more cereal than apple. So uh, while we um, show these mm. um, ways of using green tea is six cups of green tea a day is a lot for me also to drink. Mm. So to find other ways to incorporate it into your diet without just drinking it. And again, that's, I mean, how do you describe what music tastes like? It tastes really great. Um, and you're right, the green tea is not an obvious flavour that you sort mm. of bulk it. And soup? Cold soup? Yes. Hot soup? Um, that is a cold soup. Um, you can make hot soup as well. Okay. Um, the green tea antioxidants aren't destroyed by heat 
as you'll find with uh, antioxidants from other fruits and vegetables sometimes. So that is a cool cucumber and green tea soup. And the eggs? Uh, the eggs are actually soaked in green tea uh, mixed with a MSG-free soy sauce. And they've shown that the albumin in the eggs um, absorb quite a lot of the green tea antioxidants. So what you do is you boil the egg first, okay. and then you crack the, the shell, and then soak it in the um, soy sauce green tea mixture. So it's one part soy sauce to two parts green tea. So what you're essentially doing is what every mother does to her kids, is she disguises the medicine. You know? Yes. <laughs> Which is fantastic. So I we've got cold so. soup, we've got eggs, we've got cereal, we've got a fruit punch, and all of it is green tea. That's right, yes. That's great ideas, Andrea. Mm. Thank you very much. Well, there you go. From green tea soups and oats to Justine's cancer-preventing canoa salad up next. Take note and learn a thing or two on how to use your daily meals to protect your family against cancer. Trust Vital for your family's health. I want to live the best life.